heard of. And that's because of the way the product is formulated. So if you have tried retinoic acid or retinol and you had irritation, you're going to be blown away by this. If you're, and if you're a physician out there listening or a dermatologist out there, I know there's a bunch of you guys listening, you've got to check this out and you've got to tell your patients about it as well. Retinoids are the next to vitamin C, and there's a bunch of vitamin C, of course, in there too. Uh, it's the, the most significant, most powerful, most potent of the anti-aging, topical anti-aging skin, ingre- skin health ingredients. And don't be bamboozled by schlocky lying companies like the one we talked about a couple weeks ago that says retinol and there's no retinol in the product. Retinol is very unstable and very, very potent and no companies want to touch it. And that's why you're not going to see it anywhere. But that's also why we're dedicated to the truth. So that's also why you're going to find it at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, Sheila in Massachusetts. Welcome to the Bright Side. What's up? Hi. Thank you for taking my call. Sure. What's going uh, on? Uh, well, I have a 12-year-old granddaughter that's just started puberty, and her skin has all broken out. And I've heard your recent programs about acne, and I was just wondering, she's 12 years old. I think she weighs about 140 pounds, and she's about 5'6". But um, I wasn't sure what would be the, the best treatment that I could... Well, I'll give you a couple quickies, okay? For hormonal acne, which it sounds like she's dealing with, is she built lean? Pardon me? Is she, is she built lean? No. She's no, built she's, round? Is she built buxom? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, how old did you say she was? 12. Okay. Almost 13. And she's already started her period and everything? Yeah. Okay. So here's the deal. Unfortunately, if she's built buxom and she's starting to break out, the chances are good that she's got some blood sugar things going on. All right? Mm-hmm. How, is she overweight at all, or is she about right? Um, she's, she's and I'm not saying that to you. got to be honest with me, because I, I need to know. No, no. Uh, she weighs about 150 pounds, and she's about 5'6". Definitely got blood sugar problems. She's pre-diabetic. Yeah. Okay, so uh, you got it. Now's the time to catch this. Very, very important to catch this now. All right? This, huh? this, this can involve cysts. It can involve growths in the uterus and in the, uh, in the ovaries. It's very significant now, okay? Do you ever hear something I, called polycystic ovarian syndrome, PCOS? No. Okay. Well, she's at risk for it, and you, that means you want to start working with her blood sugar right away. That means would that start, mean she get vaginal um, yeast infections? That would all be involved. Is she getting yeast yeah. infections? Oh, yes. That's all yeah. involved. Absolutely. Okay, these are very bad signs for a 12-year-old. So what you want to do right away, immediamente, you got to get her on more protein, more good fat, coconut oil and butter, and less kid food. You know what I mean by kid food? Cereals and all of that. And and this is not, I'm telling you, this is serious business at this point. So uh, as best as you can wean her off, you get her into sports, that will help. Anything you can yep. do to start to change her hormones around a little bit because she's going to be at running risk for being more slothful than more, you know, active. And none of that's in her interest. So uh, work on the blood sugar by more protein, more coconut oil, more butter. Use spices. Wean herself off. Wean her off of potatoes and pasta and cereals, etc. And then get her on the sweeties after all her meals. Get her on the uh, healthy start pack as well. Sipping on the BTT. Go get her some zinc picolinate, P-I-C-O-L-I-N-A-T-E. Have her do twenty. Have her do about 30 milligrams a day. If you can find 30 milligram capsules, get her on uh, 10,000 IU of vitamin A a day. And if you can get her to do some NAC, N-A-C, maybe 100 or 200 milligrams of NAC a day, that might make a difference also. If she has any digestive issues, get uh, yeah. tune into those. Gas, bloating, discomfort, all of these are the beginnings of what's called dysbiosis, which is a fancy way of saying messed up gut bacteria, and that usually precedes blood sugar problems. So there's, the odds are really good that she's got this going on too. So anything you can do for digestive health, in addition to eliminating problem foods and caloric restriction, get her on the nightly essence, three capsules in the morning, three capsules at night. And then have her, as if you can do it, if she'll do it, vegetable juices and fermented foods, fermented veggies. You're going to work on the gut, work on the blood sugar system, and then also, uh, last but most certainly not least, the Healthy Start Pack, which will include the ultimate essential fatty acid. Super important for all female health issues, for really all inflammatory issues. Okay, okay. Sheila? But take this now, very seriously. Could, could you tell me now, I have um, complete toco trienols. In that's a, good. Um, Give her, in that's awesome. Supplement. And um, it has 100, 210 
um, natural to cost. Uh, IU? How much total yeah. IU? Um, no, it's 210. You can give her one of those. Give her one of those with food. Okay. Okay? All right. There's, there's lots right. more you could do, but if you if, review the program, because this is very important, Sheila. Really, really important. Okay. Okay, right, thanks so thank much you. for your call. Have a beautiful day. All right, let's go to Alexia in FLA. What is up? Good morning. Alexia. Yay, good morning, pharmacist Ben. I'm calling about um, pregnancy caused uh, in iron anemia. I was considering adding the oxybody. What other strategies? Say that again, iron anemia. You're, is this for you, ma'am, Alexia? Pregnancy, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're pregnant, but you have, you have an iron anemia? Yeah. Is that what you're telling me? Okay, so here's the deal with iron yeah. anemia. You want to treat that as a blood cell issue, not as much an iron issue. That means you've got to make healthy mm -hmm. cells. Blood cells are the fastest turning over cells in the body. So if you have any nutritional deficiencies, one of the first places they're going to show up is in the blood cells, especially around fats. Mm -hmm. make sure, and the fats will also help build a, a smarter baby. So make sure you're on the ultimate EFAs. Make sure you're sipping on the Beyond. Okay, good. And I would take a bunch of them, nine a day. And then uh, make mm -hmm. sure that you're sipping slowly on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. All right? If you have any digestive issues, mm -hmm. that will compromise absorption of your nutrients. You've got to focus on the digestive system as well. That means if you have any, do a food diary, elimination diet, etc. cetera. Uh, for the baby specifically, and also for you, of course, because you benefit too, protein, do not skimp on your whey protein if you can handle it, or hemp seed if you can't handle whey or don't want whey. Don't skimp on the protein. You're building something here, and protein is the major building substance. You're building a, a baby. And then also, uh, in addition to protein, a couple other things that are important for the baby. Iodine, very, very important. And it'll come, you know, when you take iodine, the baby will benefit from the iodine as well. You'll have a smarter baby. Iodine's extremely important for brain health. And then you might want to throw in a little bit of extra fish oil. Uh, you'll get some, in the, uh -huh. of course, in the ultimate EFAs, but you might want to throw a little bit of extra fish oil in there. And because you're taking all of the, these fats, whenever you're taking fats, whenever you're taking EFAs, whenever you're upping your uh, essential fats, or, or even just taking them, make sure you're taking vitamin E because it's fat protecting. There is some in the gel caps in the ultimate EFA, but I would take extra, maybe 400 IU a day extra of a mix to cough roll and tocotrienol would be, would be ideal. Got to move, Alexia, but congratulations, and I hope we helped you out. Thanks for your call. Okay, didn't mean to hang up on you. I apologize. All right, that's all the time we have for today. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Check out my skin health product page, truthtreatments.com. And if you're interested, interested in joining the Brightside Ben team, call the phone team at 866-735-2470. Have yourselves an awesome, spectacular, beautiful day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.